So welcome. Welcome to this guided walk through the beautiful woods of Falkland. This is a walk through the woods and it is a journey through the landscape of your own feelings and the landscape of your own body. So let's just begin with noticing your breath. Very simple. Breath in and breath out. Not changing anything, just tuning in to the rhythm of your own breathing. Becoming aware of your own body, right here, right now, in your very own space, sitting in your own chair, in your own home. And we're going to take a, an imaginative journey through the woods. And there will be invitations and the first invitation is for you to simply be aware of what drew you to this ceremony. This is a ceremony to honour and witness grief and loss. So allowing yourself to become aware of what drew you here. Might be the loss of some dear loved one, either very recently or even a long time ago. And it might be the loss of your own sense of where your life was going. For many of us, these days, these COVID days, feel like such a challenge. In the words of the poem, we feel our own future dissolve like salt in a weakened broth. So whatever it is that drew you here, sense into that. And we will have a little time now to receive this place. Receive the sky and the trees and the water. remembering walks in real life that you have taken, receiving yourself, receiving the landscape. So we will now together walk to the next station of our journey. Allow yourself to be witness to your own feelings and let nature reflect yourself back to yourself. In the mirror of thee, I see me.
So settling now into this first stopping point on our journey. And here we will use the inspiration of the trees shedding their leaves in this ball of earth. And I would like to read you a poem which Louise Durant wrote about leaves, like breathing out. Leaves in autumn know the secret of when to let go and how. Green veined and gold tipped, colour seeping and spreading, setting fire to the hills and horizon. Gilded leaves shiver as the tree slowly loosens its grip until one day one gust shakes the tree and one leaf from a swirl of many lets go, free to whirl and spiral earthwards. It lies glistening gazing skyward, a thing of beauty still, wind-tossed and rain-soaked. A year passes, and another. Leaf melds with earth, food for myriad soil dwellers, disintegrating, until it too becomes soil, dark, fragrant and moist, cradles a sleeping seed, grows a sapling, becomes tree again. So as we receive that teaching from the leaves, allow yourself to know your own grief, to feel it in your heart, in your chest, in your belly, between your shoulder blades. Let yourself express in words, in sounds, whatever you feel in your heart. And so we come now to stand on this bridge and imagine you can feel the water under your feet. Unstopping. So, feeling into what that flow might have to offer you, as you feel what is flowing towards you, and let what is flowing away flow away down the stream. 
take a few breaths. And dream into what your prayer might be. A prayer for someone you have lost, the prayer for yourself, the prayer for all our relations, for our troubled world. And know that the water carries all before it. Soft, gentle, on its journey, as are we. So allow to come out of your mouth whatever needs to come out of your mouth right now, trusting your own wisdom, trusting the wisdom of the water. And we will begin again our walk through the woods. Up ahead we can see the fire and this beautiful avenue of light calling us to the warmth of the fire. So let yourself be drawn to the fire, feeling the warmth at the centre of your own heart, your own passion your own love and your love of that which you have lost. Letting the fire be a mirror of your own warmth, just as it is a fire that mirrors the fire at the centre of the earth. Let these elements of air and wood and water and fire support you as you come to the warmth and know that for many, many, many generations our ancestors have sat around a fire in community in sacred circle, receiving the warmth of the fire, the comfort of the fire, and when the moment is ready, putting into the fire that which they are ready to return to ash, in the sure and certain knowledge that the phoenix rises from the ashes and the cycle of life continues.